In the next couple of days, we have a few close calls with some asteroids that have just been discovered. For instance, today, February 8th, we have asteroid 2024 CK1. That's approximately 142,000 uh, miles away from Earth. Um, that's going to pass by today, February 8th, and that's the size of a car. Then on February 9th, we have a asteroid the size of a bus, which is 2024 CJ1. It's 22 feet in diameter, and it's passing by about the distance of the moon. But they've been finding a lot of these lately. All right, just this year alone, 2024, just the beginning of this year, we've been finding probably three a day. Um, then we have on February 10th, this one is over 4 million miles away, but it's a 220-foot asteroid that's been found. And the next one on February 11th is 430,000 miles away, and that's a 60-footer. And that's the size of a house. Um, and then on February 12th, we have 2020 DK. That's an airplane size, but that's over 2 million miles away. But just to show you something here, let's look at this one uh, quickly. 2024 CK1. When we go into this one and we go into the small body database lookup, um, you'll see that this was first observed, which that's the first time they've seen it, uh, discovered it was on two days ago, February 6th. And when we come down to the close approach data, we're going to switch this to lunar distance. And then we're going to change the velocity to miles per hour here in the U.S. I'm used to that. So I'll make this a little bigger down here. But you can see uh, this is where we're looking at right here. Right. And even though I told you it was discovered uh, March, um, February 6th, I know you see 2014 here, but that's because not only can they tell the forward path, they can only always look back. Right. So anyhow, um, we have February 8th. It's passing by and it's going. The velocity is. 26, just just under 27,000 miles per hour. And that's a 15-foot, um, let's call it a satellite, right? Now we have 2024 CJ1. This is tomorrow, February 9th. Um, and they also have a link here for Earth impact risk. And they don't put that for all of them. Like this one's going to pass by a little further than the other one. But that didn't have this. This does. So let's see what the odds are. Uh, it's 1 in 100,000. And it's, the chance is 99.999% chance the asteroid will miss Earth. Now here on the Torino score, you always want to take a look at that also. All right. Uh, they have the Palermo scale and the Torino scale. The Palermo scale, the reason they really came up with the Torino uh, scale is because it's very easy. You want it to say zero. Anything other than zero is a potential problem. And anything over a one is a big problem. Okay, a massive problem. Palermo scale, although it comes up with same figures it's much more mathematically complicated so this is more the layman's terms right here Torino okay uh, let's just see something here yeah we're good on that satellite so anyhow uh, it's been a while since I've given an update and I figure when I came in here uh, I'm seeing two right off the bat the next two days that are going to pass by the Earth closer than the distance of the moon. Okay. Uh, and we just had an impact, I believe, in Germany a couple of weeks ago. And they only discovered the, um, the asteroid like three hours prior. So, um, 
keep your eyes to the skies, folks. All right? So thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you all soon.